what is up guys welcome back to another mobile crazy update on note 9 so we are starting again with battery and as you can see i still haven't applied the screen protector yet i've been working a bit too much so i don't really get much time to do this calmly and not messing up messing up so anyway so this is a screenshot of before i had to charge during my work and this time i actually didn't even use it that much but still i don't know if this is normal for you guys uh, or if you are a note 9 user you can probably compare yours to mine to see how much more or less i use compared to you guys and you can see 10 minutes 18 10 hours 18 minutes to go and 47 minutes left and that's predict predicted so the numbers won't be exactly right it depends on your usage so we can say about 11 hours of battery and screen time is 3 hours 1 minute and that's the one that use most of them and then android OS apparently i only used it for 10 minutes but take 12 percent of it and then android system is seven percent device at idle is 10 hours 18 minutes it's the, I'm pretty sure that's not the correct time when they mean idle basically that mean I'm locking the screen it's basically like that so I don't think that's the exact correct time um, but yeah I can't actually scroll down any further but yeah this is pretty much what we get on the device so the screen taking up the most and the screen on time is three hour one minute so you can just round it up to three hours so it's only take that much to drain all of this battery so that's exactly tells you how powerful this device is this is by the way without keeping the power like power serving mode on if you do keep that on it probably will be much better compared to what we have now again when it's come to performance wise i did not see a single uh, stuck or flickering so that's great and i tried to play games on it and it does still run pretty smooth and the new cover uh, it's pretty actually nice uh, you get to see the actual device and the Samsung logo and everything so I'm I'm happy with it and also it's give you this outer silver kind of lining but sometimes it's kind of slippery that's one thing I almost dropped it twice today that's kind of worrying uh, except that it's fine also the fingerprint scanner again I'm I, I kind of have to get used to it because of the the just changing the cover trust me it's make a lot of difference when it's come to this the one problem i've been having recently uh, i whenever i try to press the volume down button i keep pressing bixby button and then this guy popped up and like hey how may i help you uh, so exactly that's the only problem i've been having with the device at the moment but other than that it's it's been great let's go and check out the battery performance again so just for you know sake of you guys finding out how to do that as well so you can go and go to search and then just type battery as you can see I searched it last and then if you go scroll all the way down and then you will see device maintenance and battery and then when you click that you can see what how many hours left it's saying estimated hours is five hours four minutes with 38 percent which is great uh, but let's get this going and as you can see it's been coming down and then I charge back up and then it's saying five hours let's see estimated like five hours four minutes so that's what it's apparently left with 40 okay that's actually inconsistent if you think about it five hours four minutes and then you go back oh it's actually saying the same thing never mind it's just me so if i turn the power serving mode off it will be only be four hours 18 minutes so you get 50 minutes extra 50 you know actually 46 hours extra 46 minutes extra for just having the mid and then obviously max will be much more but we don't need that anyway so let's go and close this checking the device what happened your phone maintenance status is excellent the tap below to improve this won't affect your personal data so you can optimize by clicking it they're saying 90 percent 90 basically percent it's optimized and it's just searching through this and basically cleaning up your device just in case if there's anything coming up and it's closing some background apps as well and then freeing up some storages and now there we go we go 100% so your sh device should be working like a brand new well when I mean by that the speed and everything the speed is still great guys I mean you can load up much as you want and this device doesn't seem like it's gonna slow down I didn't use my S Pen today let me think yeah I didn't use my S Pen or I didn't use a camera either but I tried this new function the face recognition function so as soon as I turn it on it's look check my face out actually and it's unlocks 
this one takes much longer compared to the iris scatter which i'm kind of disappointed because your face is pretty big compared to the iris scatter i mean your eyes and it can recognize your it couldn't recognize your face fast as it could recognize your eyes if that makes sense but again this is not just a face it's a com combination so let's go and check that out fingerprint when i click that we'll be able to see uh, no okay okay one second there we go if we see over here you have the intelligence scan that's what i was using use face and iris recognition together for a better accuracy and security so if you use this you can't use iris at the same time but iris and fingerprint work at the same time also intelligence scan and fingerprint work at the same time or the face and fingerprint work at the same time they don't all work together uh, which is understandable because you know the camera there's only few camera they can fit up in this tiny space over here uh, but rather than that uh, let's see I actually put it back on iris without I realizing and also there's one thing you usually have to do for example if you press into it iris scanner oh okay wait um, okay and then you can go even further actually into the iris scanner let me get that for you guys uh, iris intelligence scan iris iris scanner samsung iris unlock okay so let me get this password again okay so if you go here unlock your phone with iris and then you can see this option is pretty useful at the same time it can be is it, it can be for you or against you guys so this one say unlock your phone with your iris as soon as the screen turns on for example if i keep this option on and i press this button soon as i press the lock button again it will actually automatically open it for you so you can see how fast that is compared to before so again i'm gonna go and open the password again because you have to do that otherwise it wouldn't let you go into it but if you get to the other option people if you turn that option off you can get to see your notification and I'm pretty sure you can hide that as well because I was able to do that on my Note 4. So I'm pretty sure I should be able to do that with my Note 8. So it says screen iris, screen on iris recognition. So as soon as I turn that off and just turn it off. And if I now turn it on, you can see it's just come back to our normal notification. Now if I swipe up, okay. If I swipe up now, now that um, notification, I mean, the iris scanner turns on. So it depends on your preference i mean whenever i press this button i normally like to unlock the phone but at the same time sometimes i just like to browse the notification unless i purposely hide it which you can do on the devices which i will do it tomorrow with you guys uh, we can hide the notification it will just say you have a message from whatsapp but it wouldn't reveal what message it's on without unlocking the phone so it depends how much privacy you guys want i mean as long as nobody's trying to get any information from you guys it should be fine uh, if you uh, do it without just by pressing the button you should be able to unlock or you can do this the exact same way so it's up to you guys and i samsung pay which i haven't used it yet which i'm looking forward to uh, doing it when i haven't been on shopping for a while so as soon as i get the chance i will try and see how that gonna go it should be go smoothly so i'm looking forward to it and i also turned off the blue edge light because you know i tried to serve some battery and also the speaker again there was something i did not realize that was on this thing called dolby atoms so as you can see it's actually increase your um, speaker's experience which I honestly realized it was so great like I always already before I even start using it I was complimenting the speaker but soon as I start using this it just got much better so I would strongly recommend you guys if you guys listen to songs a lot just put this on honestly it, it will make the uh, song sound different and more enjoyable you get this bass going around and it's just much better experience I personally see it so I'm not music expert but i can see the difference between my note 4 and note 9 so yeah that's me so that's pretty much it for me people i don't see much any like any other stuff going on the device i haven't used bixby yet i asked bixby to tell me a joke today well i did use bixby and i did set up an alarm using bixby i, I was just testing it and it said something some joke of which i forgot uh, it was trying to say uh, whenever i think about print Pretzels, 
I always take a pinch of salt. So, yeah, it's pretty funny, apparently. Uh, but anyway, um, you guys can play with that whenever you like, or we can play with it later. But for now, that's pretty much it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Also, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell symbol next to the subscribe button to not miss the next vlog for with our Note 9. And it's been, what, day 5 now? So we do still have 25 more days to go. So let me know your thoughts, your reaction in the comment section, people. And what do you think of the Note 9? If you like it, don't forget to comment that and see what you like about it. But personally, I'm loving this device so far. I don't have anything to complain. It's just been wonderful. I mean, for a device, this beast lasting 10 hours is just is God gifted. Tomorrow, I'm going to use a bit of navigation as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how that will last on I mean how the battery will last with that but anyway I haven't tested the water as well so I'm looking forward to that as well which we're gonna do it together so that's it guys have a wonderful day and see you guys with more videos